Stop digging through folders to change colors in Substance Painter and use anchor points to create a color control layer instead. Here's how. First, create a new fill layer and move it all the way to the bottom of your layer stack. This layer is gonna control all the other color channels, so make sure the color channel's active. Then you're gonna duplicate this layer and then nest it above any of the layers you want to overwrite. Then go back to your main color override and add what's called an anchor point. Now go back to those nested layers that we have there and then go to the base color and load up the anchor point we added to the bottom most layer. With that now loaded up, you can see we can reference the base color or other material properties from the color override layer with the anchor point effect applied to it. So when we go to that bottom most layer and adjust the base color, it's gonna control all the layers that are referencing its base color via the anchor points. Now, if you wanna override other fill layers, you can just duplicate that color override layer that's using the anchor point reference and place them above the fill layers you want to override. Now what this does is it allows that one layer to control the color of anything you link to that anchor point. Now if you want to turn this effect off, just deactivate the color channel on the fill layer with the anchor point. Bonus tip, with anchor points you can also drive other material channels like roughness. So to do that, all you gotta do is activate the roughness, load up the anchor point to drive the roughness of those reference layers, and then just activate the roughness on your main color override. So one anchor point can drive multiple properties across your entire layer stack. No more folder diving, way cleaner workflow, controlling multiple layers buried in folders from one central layer. I hope you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, drop a like and let me know in the comments. See you next time.